we get lot of parents asking my child is 4 years old uh, he is still passing urine in the bed is it normal my child is 7 years old previously he was normal now he started passing urine in the night time he started bed wetting the doctor said it is secondary aneurysis is it serious for this we have to know what is bed wetting and what is aneurysis they are both not same there is slight difference aneurysis means involuntary passage of urine beyond the age at which the child is expected to control his bladder usually it is attained by 5 years daytime control is attained by 4 years and nighttime control maximum by 5 years there are different types uh, daytime aneurysis and nocturnal aneurysis when the child bedwets free, predominantly daytime it is uh, daytime aneurysis or predominantly nighttime it is nocturnal aneurysis and uh, based on other categories primary aneurysis and secondary aneurysis where primary aneurysis is from the birth the child is continuously passing urine at the bedtime uh, bedwetting and it is not attained a dry state anytime secondary is when the child has attained bladder control and after six months he started again passing urine in the bed so what are the causes for most of the time it is lack of uh, motivation toilet training and sometimes the underlying cause may be urinary tract infection abnormalities in the urinary tract like pur v posterior retral valve or VUR, vesicoureteric reflex or ectopic ureter. We also see the symptoms whether the child is pass, uh, passing good stream or dribbling of urine or with this burning of micturition associated with other symptoms like fever, stomach pain and how is his mental state, is drinking water more or is eating more. There may be hormonal causes like diabetes and diabetes insipidus also. So what are the tests usually done? We usually do urine routine based on the clinical examination and history we do urine routine examination and if necessary if we are suspecting we do scans of the abdomen and in case higher end tests are done very rarely so how do we treat this we treat the cause we address any urinary tract infection if anatomical abnormalities are there we advise surgeries if there is diabetes or diabetes insipidus we try to correct them so basically for primary nocturnal aneurysis where the child is 6 years and is not in bladder control do not stress out there are simple steps to achieve first is most common is do not give any water or cut down water before 1 to 2 hours of bedtime avoid tea coffee carbonated drinks before sleeping avoid all the junk foods and high calorie foods at the night time and you have to maintain a chart or a diary where if the child is dry at the night you give him star or give him positive reinforcement and encourage the child to go to toilet just before sleeping and alarm systems where you note the child's usual passage of urine in the night and keep an alarm before that and make the child to go to urine and usually if these measures are not controlled or successful very rarely we advise oral medicines to control nocturnal analysis or bedwetting so do not stress out know your child's type of bedwetting and consult a doctor and get the solution thank you